worked very hard and I'm very happy for the youngsters because it was the youngsters that uh, played today and uh, they gave a very good show because they were attacking from the first minute to the last minute. So I'm happy with the uh, insurance but unfortunately we failed to, go, to confet and uh, that was also the, the greatest and doing in the last game that we got chances but we failed to convert. So uh, going forward we are going to work very hard to try and convert the chances we get. Yeah, that, 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 that is what we are worried about because we are getting chances. But at least getting chances, at least we are going to work only on converting because we are getting the chances. So what, what we all need now is to convert those chances. So going forward, we are going to try and keep on working very hard to convert those chances. Well, still with the rental school, she believes that youngsters should also get a chance as it is now the norm in the, in the world for players under the age of... Uh, what, 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 what age do we use for... Is it under 20? under 20 players. I'm sure you also understand because that's where he's coming from. He was coaching the, the under 20 side. So yeah, he says uh, the youngsters also need to get chance. No, it's not tough for, for them because uh, football is the same. Even if you find even in England or anywhere in, in, in the world, uh, we're finding 16 year olds, 17 year olds giving good shows. So Zimbabwe is not supposed to be different from others. We're going to keep on giving those youngsters chances to play against any opponent. So I love what what Paul is talking about here, you know, trying to give youngsters, you know, an opportunity to come in and express themselves and all that. So this has been a big debate, especially in uh, in uh, Zimbabwe football circles. You are a coach today. You are mandated to produce results. Do you go for the young players? Because on the other hand, you're also looking at developing the game. So. Benza is coming in and he's trying to, you know, buttress that, that point that, you know, the future is with the young ones and he's trying to put the youngsters. But again, the question now for you, Veronica, when we talk about youngsters, what, what are the ages when we say, okay, these are youngsters that we are putting in? Uh, and then when we talk about youngsters, my belief is we are talking about the under 20s. When we say this is a youngster, we are looking at someone who is the young warriors. They can fit into that squad. You take, we, you take them from that age. You graduate them. We should be able to track a player from the developmental stages actually graduate into the seniors. And then I'm looking at a situation whereby when someone turns 28, 29, we are actually considering Munye almost at the twilight stages of their, of their career. So I can't be looking at a 25-year-old, Domuti, a youngster. No, it doesn't work for me. A youngster should be at least 20, 21 and below. Hmm. And let's also learn, maybe as, as Zimbabwe, to give these coaches some time. Give him time. Let them go and scout good development. Give them time. They should be able, because we, should have, we should be able to have a transition. That transition period, you can't be expecting much, in as much as they want to survive the relegation. But pane time you get a rebuild, pane time you get a transition. Hmm. David? It's your premier football show, The Couch, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Pazetium Prime, DSV Channel 294, the place to be.